everybody and welcome back to another episode on my channel. Today's topic is about how to win at karaoke. As you may know from my other videos on, or from my description on that channel, my name is Tanya Levy. I'm a professional, a studied actress, a singer and a vocal teacher and a drama teacher as well. And I'm going to give you five tips how you are winning the next karaoke. Sing to impress. Recently I have been on a karaoke myself uh, some few days ago and I noticed some things even as a professional singer that has sing, sung for a lot a lot of years even I was very nervous at this day and I noticed some things and I want to share my tips and advices with you. Number one, I know sounds stupid, sounds silly but turn the aircon off. Most thing I noticed is there is whether an aircon or there is something that heats up. So what happens when people are singing with aircon is that warm air is going to be on cold air and your vocal cords will dry out, they're gonna swing against each other, vibrate against each other and imagine what happens if your vocal cords that are dry are going to vibrate. You gotta get a little bit of rest, you gotta sing like it's a hug. and. I think Bonnie Tyler is cool. You can do this as an effect, it's a but it's going to harm your voice if you could do it too many times or if you do it on the long run or if you do it wrong. So turn that aircon off, make sure that you are warm here and you're going to sing very smoothly. Number two, it's the most effective thing. People underestimate the choice of your song. Because the choice of your song is going to represent you, your voice and the sound of your voice. The choice of your song is important for you. Why? Because most of the time people when they do karaoke are not professional. Let's assume they are not professionals. But how can someone that is not a singer sing pretty well? And there's a trick to it. And I'm going to share that trick to it. But only if you subscribe to that channel. The trick is to not choose a song where you are going to sing through that song. That is a, a mix from a voice and a speaking song. For example, John Lennon, Imagine, is a typical song, at least for me, that I would give to someone that is not a singer because he's not, he's, he's not in need to sing the whole song through. I give you an example. So, you can sing the song like this. Imagine all the people living for today. Oh, that was singing, yeah? But if you're not a singer and you don't want to risk hitting the wrong notes or being in blue notes, you're just gonna sing a little bit on top of the notes. Choosing a song like this prevents you going through the whole song singing and being actually insecure about the notes, about the full requirement to the song. Because some people are like to choose songs from Adele, for example, or Whitney Houston, and they end up being all in blue notes, under the pitch more likely. They sing like, nah, he said, yeah, to the yeah, it's, it will be not correct and everyone will be having a hard time through and please, I know, it's hard because sometimes you want to choose a song that you like and that you love but you are sometimes better as a beginner have a song where you feel confident by not singing all those high pitches for example, songs like this can be Hit the Road Jack, yeah? Hit the road, Jack, don't you come back no more, 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 more Hit the road, Jack, don't you come back no more Pronto. You're only going to sing, attach, attaching the note, going to sing the note, but not fully. You're not going to sing the note fully out and you prevent yourself from, you know, being not in the right pitch. Number three. Statistically, you're going to lose 25% of your potential by singing. It's a normal thing because people that are speaking or are in front of an audience or they are in their exams, they mostly lose 25% uh, 
of that potential of this yeah qualification or whatsoever so you're going to have this percentage 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 <laughs> where you're gonna be nervous you're gonna be exciting you're gonna be maybe a little bit drunk while you have karaoke uh, whatsoever or you have a pressure because there are friends in a new group or they start your colleagues or you want to impress someone there's someone that you like so whatsoever it's going to affect your singing it is true that's the reason why people always say say learn this thing 150 percent because you're gonna lose that 50 percent so but what helps you is always to stick to something that is quite easy in the beginning so let's give an example um when i had this karaoke the few days ago i was already being out of my typical schedule as a singer and i didn't practice for a long time because i was moving abroad and that cost me a lot of time so i was sticking to the easiest song that i know that i could do i was nervous i was being in a new environment i hadn't practiced for a long time i got a little bit influenced by that so what i done is i took a typical song and i was singing this typical song so even I chose a song that was quite easy, that I quite know, and that I know, okay, I will be singing this solid and it would be enough. I don't need to impress everyone. And maybe if I got more confident in all those groups, I can sing a song that is much more difficult and it requires much more effort. So go with the easy song in the beginning. Of course, practice every day or practice is the key to success. So let's assume that you are a little bit tipsy, you are a little bit drunk, but your moment is going to come and when you are a little bit tipsy and a little bit drunk and you suddenly need to start to sing, it can be a little bit tough, even for someone who is a professional singer and is singing and has some alcohol. Mm, he always can rely on himself knowing that this will be quite right what he's doing. But if you are just a beginner, stick to the lyrics, you know? Because in the moment where you start to sing emotionally, that mostly is the moment where you lose it. But if you are singing the song and you stick to the lyrics, you concentrate on that lyrics that you are, no, yeah? But you concentrate on that, it will help you go through it, even though that you are tipsy or you cannot sing. So, for example, we're singing, rolling in the deep. You had my heart and but when you go completely berserk by being emotional, wrong in the dead, it's more likely to be out of control. So that's my tip for you. But my last tip is how to win the karaoke um, despite of the right song. That is the number one tip is while are you singing and you know you're a little bit drunk and or you maybe are a little bit nervous but you know you're going to sing, I would more likely start to drink water. And I'm telling you why you need to drink water, because you've, while you're getting nervous and you are drinking alcohol, let's assume you're drinking alcohol, the alcohol has sore inside. It will dry your throat out. Water will make your voice damp. At damp, the German word is feucht, so it will be damp. That's what I found in English for it. That's what I wanted to say. Um, that's important. I hope you enjoyed that video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and I would be very happy if you subscribe to my channel to have more tips and tricks and more information about singing and vocals.